Hi everyone, welcome to Poetic Espresso. My name is Emily and I am so glad you're here. So today I'm going to try and write like Greta Gerwig. I was inspired by Kate Kavanaugh's videos where she tries and writes like different writers and I thought it would be fun to try that too. I'm trying to get to know my own writing routine, what works for me, what doesn't. So I think it's helpful to try out different writers and see how I could possibly apply it, what works for me, what doesn't. So Greta Gerwig is best known for the movie Little Woman, which recently came out. She wrote and directed it. She's a very great director as well as a screenwriter. One of my favorite movies, Frances Ha, is directed and written by her. So. I found some information about how she writes. So she likes to write, she said in her dream writing scenario it would be in a room with a slanted angle ceiling, some books, a desk, and a bed. And the bed is important so that she can nap between writing. So my room meets all of those credentials except for the slanted ceiling. And honestly, I'm not really a nap person. I usually don't fall asleep, so I kind of just lay down and like listen to music. So I'm going to try and nap today. Probably won't be that successful. And uh, she also mentioned in her 73 questions from Vogue video that she loves walking. So this morning I went on a little walk. And then also she said her favorite foods are mac and cheese and funfetti so i'm gonna see if i can make some mac and cheese for lunch today because i know i have some in the freezer but it's just a matter of fact as do other people in the house want mac and cheese because i don't just want to make mac and cheese for myself um so that's pretty much it she overall doesn't have a routine to say but these are some things that she likes to do um so since she doesn't have a routine i'm going to probably write until like five o'clock maybe three o'clock and to call that okay so i'm gonna start writing and i hope you enjoy this video so my outfit for today i'm wearing a blazer a sweater under it and some black pants and the reason why I'm wearing this is because Greta likes to wear blazers, so I was like, I'll wear a blazer too. Um, I don't know if she writes in blazers, I kind of think she doesn't, but I just felt like, you know what, let's go with it. She probably, she likes wearing blazers, so we're gonna wear a blazer. Then I don't have makeup on because I imagine that she does not wear makeup while she writes. Um, and I curled my hair just for my own sanity. I spilled coffee on myself, so I had to change into a white shirt. That is very important information. So, I forgot to say I am a poet, and Greta Gerwig is a screenwriter. So, um, I'm intrigued to see how some of the techniques that she uses apply to poetry. I think that overall, just the writing practice is pretty universal no matter what you are writing. So today I'm working on my book, and my book is about artificiality and reality within the rising digital age. It's a poetry book, and it's going to be formatted like a magazine. So today I'm working on some poems. One of the poems I'm working on now is about adulthood, and it's not necessarily for the book, but I want to make as a present for someone, um, but I have some other ideas for poems and I'll see if anything sticks. I've kind of been in writer's block this week, which hasn't been great. <laughs> to take a nap and then later this afternoon I will go on a walk and I'll probably end at three. So 
I just took a nap for 20 minutes, did not go to sleep, just kind of drifted off in mind. And I remembered something while I was napping is that Greta Gerwig, she likes to write in bed. Like, um, she'll kind of be like, oh, I start at a desk, but then I end up in my bed. So I'm going to try writing in my bed when I get back from a long walk. I think I'll go on a walk for like 45 minutes. Overall, I feel like I've been pretty productive. I've gotten done with like one poem in a few hours, so that's been good. I think that the nap was really nice to like refresh in the walk to like get you out of your head a bit and to uh, not be like stuck and stuff. So I, I think I'll continue to take those techniques in my tool belt and use them while I'm writing too. So be like, okay, do I need to take a nap? Is it more like I need to walk and get out of my head or just to get some physical exercise in my heart pumping? Yeah. <laughs> I'm really liking just writing on my bed. Not really a fan of the blazer thing. I look forward to getting out of it and getting into a very cozy sweater. I like to wear more cozy things when I'm writing, though I do like to dress up sometimes, but I think I'm more in the cozy lane. So that is the end of the experiment of writing like Greta Gerwig. I changed out of my blazer because I wanted to jump into a comfy sweater like out right after I finished writing for the day. So uh, what I learned from this is that taking breaks between writing is really great and can be very productive. So the nap, I felt very refreshed. With the walk, I felt it was nice kind of to, to keep the spirits up while writing instead of being stuck in your head and feeling kind of trapped, I guess. Not really trapped, but just like you're locked in like this box and trying to do something. You go out and you're like, okay, my mind can kind of expand a bit in that way. So that's what I learned. I hope that you enjoyed watching and found something insightful with this. Comment down below what you thought of this video. I post videos every Monday and you can subscribe down below so you don't miss another video. And I hope to see you soon.